My name is Adia Kopres. I'm from Deeper Life High School, Lagos Campus, and I'll be talking about the birth, rebirth, and reforms of a righteous dad. Four score years ago, God delivered you a precious stone. At first, the world called you a rejected stone. But God wanted to make use of you as the rejected stone and help you speak in living echoes of the stone. You were a rejected stone ready to be used, and now you've become to all of us a precious cornerstone. You are an apostle with great achievements in life and ministry, a Bible-believing bishop, a courageous and valiant conqueror, a dogged servant of the divine. You are an epitome of a sanctified end-time warrior, a fighter of the good fight of faith, a God-sent individual to deliver these perverse generations from the world to come. You are a heaven-bound citizen, an impeccable cornerstone, a justified member of the judge's family. You are a keeper of the king's law, a lover of the Lord's command, a mighty mountain mover. You are a noble son of the Most High. You are an oracle of the omniscient. You are a preserver of God's precepts, a qualified personality for heaven's quest, a resolute upholder of righteousness. You are a saturated soldier for spiritual exploit, a teacher of timeless truth, a unique vessel useful for God's purpose. You are a valuable treasure in the Father's vineyard. You are a wise defender of sound doctrine, an example of an excellent believer, a yielded instrument of Yahweh. You are a zealous, saved, sanctified, spirit-filled and zestful father. I recall a point of pure darkness, a time when the stupidity of age clouded my mind. A time when elucidation eluded me and all I could see was the bleakness of an unsure future and then I was sent under his wing. His brainchild grew me when all others failed, a vessel unto honor, a mentor to know. The man whom my mother called her father when she had no other person, I could start a generation before. When my mother was shaking off where she called home for 16 years and all she had to hold on to her faith were his words from the Lord, till date she has never forgotten where she came from. Room. It matters not where her marriage took her. She still goes back to the place her salvation began. And then she decided to pass his legacy on. So I refer back to the time I was in the shadows and I saw the light. He is a vessel from which the power of God overflows in all his grace and might. His brainchild he decided to name after the church handed to him. So any child he produced would know where they came from and hold their heads up in pride as they boldly said who had raised them. He saw how the world was going and decided to breed a generation that will forever call the Lord. Be a shining light to the world and people they could depend on. Children who will become men and women who would never give up no matter the cost. No matter where they ended up, always will they stand for the right. The truth in them to spread always a must. I have been sitting to his words, absorbing the doctrines handed to us, changing my former darkened view of the world, becoming another literary H.L. Mencken, writing and reading and dedicating my talent to the one who made me, just like so many others before me, in order to fulfill the mandate given to us. Make a change where it seems impossible. Forge a path where others have failed and put footprints in the sands of time where it is improbable. So now at the year he turns 80, all I'm able to pick up from the swirl of words in my mind is that I'm grateful to the man who fathered my mother and taught me. Help me to realize we are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. The grace of the Lord keep him. Eternal strength, mercy, wisdom, health, and all in the Lord's storehouse be with him. His messages continue to change lives and heal. His brainchild continues to teach children, impact families, pave a better way in this depraved world, and forever the joy of the Lord will he feel. And the church says, Amen. My name is Dambole Fulosimi, and I am a student of SS2 Science A in Deeper Life High School, Lagos Campus. And I'll be talking about my superhero, Pastor Williams Fulon Shokumui. I was introduced to you in the year 2016 as a new student of Deeper Life High School. I became attracted to your way of life. These things about you, your character, your charisma, your courage, your charge to us as Christians, and your covenant with God, all serves as testimonies that God is using you. You have led me to find the grace to be redeemed. 
You have led me to Christ. You have taught me how to overcome temptations. You have taught me to be a good orator. You are a good student of the Bible and at the same time, an excellent teacher of the scriptures. You clock 80 years today, which is 1,000 times 80,000 over 1 million years. 80 years of greatness, 80 years of teaching, 80 years of anointing, and 80 years of being an inspiration to us. God will give you the grace to do his work with willingness, intelligence, labor, love, integrity, abundant zeal, marvelous service, and strength. I also remember you exhorting us in school through the messages on Sunday, Monday, Thursday, and sometimes Friday and Saturday on the faith of the master, obedience to God, loyalty to our creator, order and decency, the resurrection of the dead, understanding of the power of God, the new heaven and the new earth, salvation and sanctification, holiness to the Lord and the omnipotent, omnipresent and nature of God. You have made me see Christ as the King of Kings, the unreplaceable Father, the Master of the Universe, the unchanging God, Yahweh, and the invisible God. May God give you more grace, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, and immeasurable blessings. God bless you, sir. Hi, my I name is Helen Princess. Thank you. I'm an SS3 student at the Federal University Lagos Campus. I have okay. a short point to present. He is my inspiration. His intimacy with Christ inspires me to be a better Christian. He is my motivation. His energy, vitality, drive, and vivacity, even now in his later life, motivate me to put in my best, always. He is my illumination. His lessons, teachings, and trainings impact me with knowledge and wisdom. He beats my imagination. His cleverness, intelligence, and sapience amaze me every time I hear him speak. He transforms the globe through his school's vision. His brainchild, the Palais High School, is producing world-class world changers. He lives a life of distinction. His adherence to biblical principles in our world of today makes him an encouragement to millions everywhere. He lives a life of devotion. His commitment to God and zeal for his work is few and far between. Who is he? He is my father. He is my mentor. He is my counselor. He is Pastor W.F. Kumi. Good day, my name is Tunio Luashe from me from Deepalaba High School, Lagos Campus. And I'm here to present a poem for Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi. Gratitude for what you say. You study, prepare, and daily pray that your sheep heed what you say. You deliver the messages God gives to you. To listen and to obey is your wish for all to do. From dusk till dawn, day after day, you care for the flock in the most loving way, encouraging each to fulfill their ministry. You guard the flock from the wolves that would tear and divide. If one of your flock begins to stray, you challenge him with no delay. You encourage them in you to confide. Through the scripture, you counsel and guide. Thanks, Pastor, for all that you do. We really do love and appreciate you. With a grateful heart, people say, thanks to God for your pastoral stay. Thank you. Good day. I am Faye Harita Mnemi Lois from Deeper Life High School, Lagos Campus, and I'm here to present a poem titled A Living Blessing. A man with an inspiration from God, led by a vision, left all he had achieved to pursue a heavenly mission. Looking at the nation that God put him in to bless, realized for a fact that there had to be changes. Deeper Life High School was established by God's leading, grooming leaders for distinction became part of his goal plan. 80 years of God's grace in the life of his son. The glory of the Lord radiating upon his life. 80 years of fulfillment of God's promises in his life. 26,880 days of being a vessel unto honor. Every day being used to depopulate darkness's kingdom through writing, praying, and speaking, daily inspiring. Our hearts are filled with gladness and gratitude. First, the Almighty for bringing such a blessing 
to the world for preservation and prosperity for almost 27,000 days. Next to the living blessing, for listening to and obeying God's calling, for being a father and more than a blessing to many, for giving over a million of children a home away from home. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 says, For the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more until the perfect day. Thank you.